I personally feel that there's a huge prospect in using OCT and geography in our daily clinical routine. You are actually visualizing the probability to see some movement in, uh, in, uh, in your image. And it's, um, you know, white if it's a high probability or if it's a low probability, it's uh, black. So this is why you see a vessel. And here with the Spectralis instrument, we have learned and have seen already beautiful images. With the, we are used in the B scans to scroll basically horizontally, but now we do the scrolling vertically and can define the vertical dimension of our slab, which again gives the opportunity to particularly look at the capillaries in the inner portions of the neurosensory retina. And the wording that has already been introduced in looking at the inner and the deep capillary plexus is an oversimplification, as we will see in, in, in a second, in that it's not just a two-layered system, but it, it's more refined and we have now more granularity. We just wanted to talk about what we uh, were able to see on uh, OCTA using the Heidelberg uh, beta module and it's in terms of assessing patients for choroidal neovascularization. We've seen that overall sensitivity for OCTA was 56% and specificity around 92%. Subgroup analysis for wet AMD, particularly for classic, was very good. Uh, sensitivity of around 92% and specificity around 100%. So the purpose of our study was to determine the sensibility and the specificity of combined cross-sectional OCT and OCT and geography approach in detecting the presence of CMV and defining its status. And then to highlight strengths and drawbacks of OCTA in differential diagnosis between new vascular and new new vascular maculopathies. In order to do this, we performed the comparison between two protocols. One was based on dye geographies, and the other one was based on cross-sectional OCT and OCT and geography. When using an ad hoc supportive analysis, the sensitivity and the specificity of protocol two seemed higher, statistically significant higher, in case of adult onset, CSCR, and multifocal choroiditis but we are strongly convinced that the hybrid multimodal assessment based on diandrographies and cross-sectional morphofunctional OCT is actually the most reliable algorithm in diagnosis and treatment decision during the follow-up.